Okay, guys. Low Kick Championships is back. Kyokushin guy versus MMA guy. And this is in Tajikistan. Not bad. Notice that the Kyokushin guys are better at bracing for the low kick, right? Than the MMA guys that we've seen. That we see. Dude, that kick did not even graze. Ooh, that got him. That got him. Look at that. Look at the Kyokushin guy. So they do a coin flip to determine who goes first. Look at that. Ooh. Kyokushin guy. Yeah. Ooh. There's a penetration that the Kyokushin kick does that the MMA people so far haven't been able to capture. See that? Look at that. The MMA guy almost wants to drop his elbow. It's like a natural reflex. It prevents him from putting weight. You see that? It prevents him from putting weight through his lead leg. He's already off balance when he's receiving that kick. So Kikushin guy wins this. I'll show you guys this one too. Because this is two karatekas. But um, one's Ashihara Karate. And one is Kikushin. So Kikushin guy's on the right. And Ashihara's on the left. So it looks like they keep it at the same weight class. At least for the guys. I'll show you one last one after this. As a bonus. The ladies do it. So. Oof. That's a pretty good leg kick by the other Karateka. Oh, this one's good. This one's... You can tell the Ashihara guy practices too. It's the same whip-like motion. But can he... Can he take down Kyokushin guy? I think he's he's not got it, man. Kyokushin guy is going to get him. No! He put on the best fight so far against the Kyokushin guys. So this one's interesting, right? Apparently, the two of them are actually the same weight class. Even though from this, it looks like the Kyokushin girl's much smaller. But apparently, the same weight class. Ow. So, Kyokushin girl hit her in the knee. That's what I'm scared of. That's why I would never partake in this, man. But it looks like she's got a warning. So, MMA girl. Ooh, MMA girl. Definitely not the same type of penetration. Again, getting kicked in the knee. Ouch. Look at that. Getting a second warning. So, man... If I took a second one, I just quit. I'm like, I don't want to risk not being able to walk ever again. So, all right, MMA girl. She's just a lot taller. You see, that's nothing. Oh, man. So, apparently gave her another warning about kicking too close in the knee. So, MMA girl looks like that one did a little bit of damage. So, let's see. There it is. That's finally a kick that wasn't accidentally or personally dirty. Okay, MMA girl's dialing it up a little. This is interesting. It looked like she had nothing in the first few kicks, but maybe she saved it. Look at that. I love that whip-like motion. So, that one looked like it hurt a little bit. But still, Kyokushin girl is ahead, man. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Ouch. Yeah, um, so if you're watching it till here, doesn't seem like the MMA girl has it, right? Looks like Kyokushin girl has it. Look at that. But something in X Factor I thought about is there is a height difference, right? And so your kick is just landing at a different spot no matter what because of the height difference. Still though. Kyokushin girl's kick is very, very painful. Oh, she kicked downwards. I think that is... Do you want to aim it upwards, guys? Or do you want to aim it downwards like what she did? Huh. Oof. So MMA girl is aiming it very downwards. Ooh, that was a good one. See if MMA girl's still gonna aim it downwards. Oh, this time she didn't aim it downwards. It cut a little, but it didn't aim downwards this time. I think you're supposed to aim upwards. I don't know. You guys let me know how you would approach this. Oh, ow! You heard that, man. Okay, this one she aimed downwards. Is it over? Nope, she said she got it. Wow, the girls are lasting the longest. Let's see. Come on. 
Oh, that was a good one. It's a good one. Dude. Oh, she got the knee. She got the knee a little bit. Why did she get a warning? Maybe because the Kyokushin girl got her in the knee too many times. The ref's like, I don't care anymore. Yeah, she's... Her power's not there anymore. I think MMA girl's gonna win this. Oh, got her. Got her. Yeah, wow. Wow. What I loved about what we just saw is what happens when someone does kick too close to the knee. I think maybe if someone does three kicks to the knee or something, they should just be eliminated. It's just too much risk, man. I'm almost tempted to say just one strike and then two strikes and something happens. First time you kick at the knee deliberately, it's a warning. Second time, it can only be a draw, basically. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I'm just like, it really worries me that someone's knee's going to get taken out in one of these competitions. That's my only reservation about this. I think we all agree this is better than power slap, right? No brain damage. So anyways, guys, you guys watch the rest of this. This video is more than 20 minutes long. So I just wanted to feature some of it, tease it, and give you guys the original channel, original video to watch and comment. So make sure to go to Low Kick Championship and tell them, Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdown sent you. So just tell them Fight Commentary Breakdown sent you. Okay, guys, a lot more to come. Low Kick Championship is going to have another event in September, guys. So be very prepared. This thing is going to skyrocket, man. We're going to see so many of these. So anyways, guys, make sure to press the like. And if you haven't subscribed to Fight Commentary Breakdowns, make sure to subscribe. Talk to you soon.